Hello, we are on lesson 18, finding a rate by dividing two quantities. Well, we're going to look at it in a couple of different ways here. We know that the inverse operation to dividing is multiplication, so there's little techniques we can do if we want to um, try to avoid dividing and concentrate more on the multiplication piece. So let's take a look at this first problem. At Fun Burger, the Burger Master can make hamburgers at a rate of four burgers a minute. There's your ratio right there, or your rate, I should say. In order to address the heavy volume of customers, he needs to continue at at this rate for 30 minutes. If he continues to make burgers at this pace, how many hamburgers will the burger master make in 30 minutes? Okay, so like we've been doing, we've been doing charts, and we can look at this as being burgers, minutes. Okay, so we can make four burgers in one minute. So if we have to go 30 minutes, going from this 1 to the 30 would be a multiplication of 30. So if we want to keep this uh, rate constant, which means the same, then we need to then do the same over here, which is multiplication. So if we do 4 times 30, and if you have to take it to the side of your paper, you do what you got to do to get the answer that you feel you need to get. So if we use the chart, we would see that if he continued to make hamburgers at this pace, he, this burger master would be making 120 burgers in 30 minutes. And that is the same rate as four burgers. All right, but now, we're going to take it into, for a person who doesn't want to use a chart, you might want to take it to the level of um, a math, like math itself. So if we can do four burgers is to one minute, so little b, little m, so, so we know burgers on top, minutes on the bottom. The other piece of information we were given was 30 minutes, which means burgers minutes we were given 30 minutes so we don't have this value up here but if you can see how do we get from a 1 to a 30 we would times by 30 whatever we do to this denominator we can do to the numerator so if we do that to the numerator 4 times 30 gives us the 120 that we got right here same answer, just showing how you go from 4 times 30 gets this. Whatever you do to the denominator, you do the numerator, and that's one way of looking at it. Now, I'm just going to move my doc cam so you can see the next question down. Okay, so Chandra is an editor at the New York Gazette. Her job is to read each article before it's printed in the newspaper. If Chandra can read 10 words per second, how many words can she read in 60 seconds? So what we're initially trying to do here is eventually we're getting into the world of what we call a proportion. And above what we just did, the notes you just took, the part that wasn't the chart, that's the beginning steps of a proportion. But instead of doing diagonal multiplication we are doing horizontal multiplication which is kind of a neat thing so if we were to go the root of the chart because some people really do like that chart we have words seconds 10 words one second if we have to get to 60 seconds what do we do we multiply by 60 do it to this multiply by 60 and we can realize that this young lady um she would have to be able to read 600 words in 60 seconds. So let's check it out as the beginning steps of a proportion. The first rate we are given is 10 words per second. So if we have 10 words per second, 
the last piece of information they gave us was second so we got to put that on the bottom and the mystery piece once again is the top how do we get from one to the 60 we times by 60 so whatever we do to the denominator we do to the numerator we times that by 60 10 times 60 is 600 so 600 words in 60 seconds once again this is mrs bobby and of course as always i heart math